so class 9 as you know that we have completed this chapter the beggar and now further we are going to start with the discussion of the question answers so let us start the discussion of the question answers so first of all here coming up to the question answers first is has lashkov become a beggar by circumstance or by choice so what do you think what is your opinion he has lashkov hmm lashkov has become in my opinion lashkov had become a beggar by choice hmm. uh, form, formerly he had uh, he sang in a russian choir but was sent away for his drunkenness very uh, good he he told uh, sir sirji that uh, it was be because of this reason that he was telling lies and begging hmm. but in my opinion he could have done better and hmm. should have asked uh, gone for a better job instead yes, of begging of course, for right right so it um, it is you can say it is clear after reading the complete story of lashkov that he has turned out to be a beggar by choice but why by choice okay the thing is why by choice not by circumstance of course his circumstances were responsible but to some extent only he has turned out to be beggar by choice because as he got a job in the russian choir and there he was expelled or he was fired from the russian choir because of his habit of drunk of being drunk okay he was a drunkard so this is the reason he was fired off from that coil moreover when sergi has found him and employed him for wood chopping in his wood shed he was reluctant to chop wood he was not at all willing to do any kind of work he did not want to pursue this kind of work what actually he wanted is he want he thought that this work is menial it's you know his dignity he should not carry forward this kind of work okay so he was sitting on a piece So on a log, on a you can say log of you can say wood, and ultimately with his feeble hands he has hit the wood with the axe, and ultimately was not able to even chop a single billet of wood. And it was billet of wood. I told you what it was. Billet of wood was billet of wood. It is log of wood. Okay, it is log of wood. he was not able to chop even a billet of wood so who was responsible it was only olga who has chopped the entire uh, uh, entire logs of wood and ultimately he has earned a ruble and even for that also even after earning a ruble for doing nothing or half a ruble for doing nothing he has not felt ashamed but it was only the <coughs> you can say scolding remarks which olga has passed to him has ultimately changed his mind okay so moreover another example that was you can say that was witnessed in the chapter was that that when sergi has employed him okay sergi has employed him to you can say to haul furniture okay when he was shifting his house to haul furniture he was most you can say he was least interested in doing any kind of work he was moving behind the behind those workers with his head down showing his disinterestness moreover he was also not at all willing to do any kind of work and moreover he was also not pretending that he is busy so this shows that he has got the ch chance to work to earn money but still it was his you can say reluctant nature to do work that he was not able to you can say that he was not able to do you can say this kind of job or any work provided to him and he remained a beggar so this is finally clear that it was by his choice that he has turned out to be a beggar but it was not by circumstance right that is clear please uh, put your thumbs up if yes okay right so second question is what reasons does he give to sergi for his telling lies yes who will speak ninth adhiren can you let me unmute you so now i'm going to give chance to other class students also yes adhiren can you beta yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am yes lashko pretended to be pretended to be a school teacher and mm -hmm. two days before he pretended to be a, a student and uh, but he, it, there was a great reason behind this as his mm -hmm. fake as this was all his fiction 
Hmm. And he said to he said to Sergi that hmm. he uh, was formerly a Russian choir singer, but hmm. he was expelled and fired out from that job because hmm. of his habit of drunkenness, hmm. and that made him uh, beg on the uh, street on the sides of streets, and hmm. that's why that he uh, uh, said lie as no one would give him job if somebody came to know that he was a drunkard and was hmm. unable to do any other job. So, so what reasons? I'm impressed, Dhiren. Very good answer. Good fluency. of language you have and good confident skills you are also carrying forward so good one so yes so what reasons we can give okay uh, that he what reason sorry he has give to sarji okay what lies he has told so sarji when he has noticed a mendicant or a beggar on the road he was interested to help him okay so he was interested to help him so what he wanted is that that he wanted to take that man out of his misery he wanted to improve the life of that person he wanted to improve uh, him to come out of this you can say um, out of this you can say poor plight okay and for that he has asked the man about the reason for his you can say condition and why he was begging there so but but lashko who was uh, you can say who was a skillful beggar okay like a skillful beggar he was making various excuses so for the first time he has made an excuse to sergi that he once he owned or once he was working in a as a school teacher but he has met an evil fate okay so he has fall a prey to you can say to and to, to the intriguing policy and ultimately he was expelled from the school okay but that was of course not at all true right but sergi who was quite observant in nature okay he remembered that he has seen this man somewhere and upon looking his shoes which one one of which was higher and the another one was lower he immediately noticed that he has seen this man another day or the another week in sovodya street so where he has seen that man in sovodya street so what he has noticed that that on that day the same man the same beggar that is lashkov has made an excuse that he was a college student who was expelled from the college so this really made sergi to have a feeling of disgust and he also warned him he threatened him to be seen by police soon as he would as he would be going to complain about him so finally again the third one uh, according to lashkov which is of course the reality okay so he has but we are not sure that whether he was telling the reality or not that once he was a part of the russian choir but he was fired or he was sent away because of his habit of being drunkard so these are the various excuses made by lashkov in order to hide his real identity or to hide his you can say real intention behind begging and finally he turned out to be a, you can say great excuser who is making excuses in order to in order to you can say in order to put a veil over his you can say shortcomings right clear this answer fine right good so next one is third question is lashkov a willing worker or why then does he agree to chop wood for sarji yes was he a skillful worker so let me see who are the other students who are raising hands yes pranay okay yes pranay you can speak no lashkov isn't a willing worker hmm. he agrees to chop wood for sagi not because he was angry and wanted to work but because of his shame as he was trapped in his words Hmm. His strength was undermined by drinking, hmm. and he hmm. was unhealthy and didn't feel this lightness in inclination to do any work. Yes, of course. So, is Lashkov a willing worker or not? So, the thing is that no, of course, Lashkov is not a willing worker. So, the first evidence that has been, you can say, uh, put into light in this, you can say, chapter was that so that when Sergi employed him to chop wood for him, then what happened? one happened what happened he was he was walking or his gait was gait means the way of walking 
okay his gait was revealing the fact that he was least interested in that work moreover he <coughs> was thinking that a uh, work as a menial work means below his dignity okay so he was not at all interested okay in work moreover after that also <coughs> while olga has given him a billet of wood to chop he with his feeble hands put a hold of an axe and as he has set that billet of wood in between his legs to fix its position he with his or he feebly hit the wood with his axe so what this ultimately shows this ultimately delivers his Uh, you can say uh, this ultimately delivers this that he was of course a non willing worker he was least interested in doing any kind of work and after that he was also not assured uh, of his you can say ability to chop wood next time or he was also not ashamed of his inability to do work as without any chop without any chopping of the wood he has got half a ruble uh, from sergi after doing the work so later on what happened later on later on when sergi has employed him okay later on when sergi has employed him to haul furniture for his house uh, which he is going to shift he was just moving behind the workers in a disinteresting manner with his head down and shoulders down and he is also not trying to show any pretense okay means he not trying to pretend himself that he is of course uh interested or he is of course you can say busy all right so this completely shows that he was not a willing worker who is willing to improve his condition and just by his will he wanted to come out of his miserable condition had he been trusted in that kind of work he would have Im improved his condition when sergi has employed him for the first time okay but why does he agree to chop wood because he was caught red handed as when sergi has um, asked him the reason of his begging he has told him that he was a village school teacher who has met an evil fate just because of the intriguing plans and he has fallen a prey to this calumny okay but later on when sergi finally caught him red handed that on the other day he was making an excuse as a college student who was expelled from the college so ultimately being you can say being you can say scolded by sergi to be seen by police in this matter so he thought that he was trapped in his own words and there is no way out for him to finally chop wood for sergi and to submit to his wish and this is the reason he agreed to chop wood for sergi clear now is it clear but a yes or no fine that's fine okay thank you so now it's clear right now the next means the questions in this chapter they are really very deep okay of course it is a story okay simple story that he was not willing to work but by the words of olga he started doing work okay but this you can say this shift of lushkov i told you that just in these four pages see the dramatic shift or the dramatic change that has taken place in the condition of lushkov that in the starting he was a beggar and sergi was a reputed man but as the story goes towards its climax sergi and you can say lushkov they are standing at the same window purchasing the ticket for you can say for the same show of the theater so this shows a dramatic and drastic shift of lushkov from who apply to you can say to manageable condition and this is what exactly the chapter is all about it means that one can change his plight if one has the willingness of course in the starting he does not have any kind of will to improve his condition but it was it was only the words of olga that of course that had deep impact upon his upon his thinking and ultimately what happened that he has changed himself and ultimately he felt that no that his life is not at all a worth to live and he must improve his condition he must have come out of this you can say situation right is it clear fine so next is sergi says i am happy that my words have taken effect so what is the meaning of my words have taken effect in what context he was saying so okay 
So why does he say so? Same question. And is he right in saying this? Yes, Ramni can give the answer. Yes, Ramni. Yes, ma'am. So G said so because he gave Lushkov a push towards the right path. He had caught his lie and had encouraged him to work. Lushkov, oh, sorry, Sergi gave him some work and paid him for it. He saw Lushkov after two years and found out that he was a notary and was paid 35 rubles a month. He mm -hmm. considered his words as the source of Lushkov's change ways. In my opinion, yes, he was right in saying so. Otherwise, Lushkov would still have been lying and begging. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sergi says that my words have taken effect because it was... The anticipating nature of Sarji, okay, he was anticipating that uh, he, if he done something good for a person, the person is finally acknowledging that goodness, okay, right? So he was just thinking that. But what happened actually, okay, he thought that it was only his goodness that has changed his plight, that from a miserable plight, he has emerged out of the, you can say, out of the pit of, you can say, party. And ultimately now what has happened that he has come out to be a reputed, uh, to, uh, to a reputed job or he has turned out to be a reputed man in his life. Okay. So he said so, he, he said so because he thought that it was of course his, you can say, of course his letter of recommendation that he has given to him to be shown to one of his friends who has employed him for work that finally he has changed himself. Okay. But he was, of course, not right in saying so. Why? Because as Lashkov in the end acknowledged his goodness, that he, of course, has helped him to come out of that pit of poverty, had he not given him a chance, okay, to come out of that, you can say, that dreary, that gloomy life, he would not have been, he would not have been able to change himself. But finally, Lashkov himself has added, that it was not only his goodness that changed him, but it was, of course, he was, you can say, grateful towards his cook, Olga, who was, of course, a noble woman, and she has completely changed his life. Now, he has also added that why at the site of, you can say, why at the, why at the point of, or why he stopped drinking at the site of, you can say, her, he said, I, it was not, he was not able to explain it. Okay, but whatever the words were spoken by Olga on that day that he is just, uh, you can say, he will get nothing out of his life and ultimately he would have only weeping and face, you can say, these kind of dreary situations, really means sad situations in his life that has ultimately have effect upon him, upon his soul as well as mind. And it is just because of these scoldings that he was able to come out of that you can say miserable life and ultimately he was completely a changed personality and has turned out to be a civilized man. Right? Clear? Clear this answer? Okay. So class nine, one thing I would like to discuss here with you is that of course, you people know the content of uh, the chapter very well because those who are attending regular classes, those who are always listening to the teachers, yes, I acknowledge that you people are able to do or to write the answer. But the thing is that you should know how to manage the content means whatever instances you have to pick up from the story and in order to manage it. And moreover, try to use some, you can say, impressive vocabulary so that your answers can be different from others. Okay. This is what growth of language is. Okay. Whatever you want to write in simple words, anybody can write. But where your skill lies is to be different from others. Okay, try to use some uh, good words, try to enhance your vocabulary, okay, so that you can improve yourself. This is the reason why we read stories. In stories itself, okay, in the story itself, you can find, you can say, uh, many new words and try to inculcate them. Have you ever thought that like, out of this book, how many word meanings we have read? More than, I think so, more than 100 we have read, okay. But how many of these new words have been introduced in our language? Are we introducing? Because after finishing of the chapter, we are of course forgetting this word or that word I have read. At least what you have to do, have a separate diary, okay, where you can 
uh, note down these word meanings. It's not learning by heart, but it is actually using it in your daily language. When you use it at least for one day, suppose you have learned a word, try to use it in your language through that day completely. That I will use this word in my language that day and ultimately you will come to know that word will be a part of your language. Next time you, you need not to think about that word, it will automatically click to your tongue and ultimately you will be using it. So this is one technique, okay? How to enhance your vocabulary, right? So <laughs> the next question is, coming up to the next question. Mm, Lushkov is earning 35 rubles a month. How is he obliged to surge you for this? Yes, who has not given the answer? Ashpreet, yes, you can speak. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Surgery played very important role in improving the condition of the beggar. It hmm. was because of surgery that Lashkov could earn 35 rubles a month. Hmm. He offered him the job to chop wood at his home hmm. and also sent his friend to, to do the job of copying. Hmm. Lashkov was highly obliged to hmm. surgery because now he was a notary because of him. Good, Ashpe. So let me listen from Simran. She is also too anxious to answer. Yes, Simran, you can also speak. Simran, I have unmuted you. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Lashkov was not a willing worker. He was a poor drunkard who was sent away. He had lost all his strength and stamina due to his habit of drinking. Hmm. But with the help of Sergi, he was able to completely change himself from a pointless and from a pointless life. He changed his life into a meaningful, meaningful one. Hmm. Lashkov was obliged to Sergi because if he had not met with him, then hmm. he might still have been calling himself a teacher or a student and hmm. would have continued begging. Hmm. By listening to Sergi, he had changed his ways. He was a notary and earned 35 rubles a month with all credit to Sergi's suggestion and timely help. Hmm. Very good. Good speaking skills. Very good. I really appreciate it. Uh, Simran, it was you who was being selected for that book reading session with Kiran Bedi? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so congratulations. Although, of course, it's a uh, bit late. But uh, that was really appreciable. Now I got the reason why you have been selected. So I think ninth is girls that you people are too good also. You can also try for that session so that you add another, you can say, feather to your cap of achievements, right? So now, so finally you have come to know that though he is earning, Lashkov is earning 35 rubles a month, but how is obliged to Sergi for this? It is just because of the letter of recommendation that has been given to Sergi to go to his friend who would employ him for some kind of copying work. Okay, he has carried forward, he has done that work with sincerity and it was just because of that reason that he was able to earn a respectable amount of 35 rubles a month and it is just because of this reason that at the end of the story that he was standing at the same ticket window for which Sergi was purchasing the ticket. But, but if we think of this kind of, you can say, equality between Sergi and Lashkov, that would completely seem to be a dream. Okay, or uh, that is completely seem to be a hypothetical concept because otherwise uh, Lashkov at, by no point equalized Sergi. Okay, and he thought that it was just because of his generosity shown towards him that he was able uh, to live this kind of, you can say, life and ultimately he, he is able to come out of his pitiable life or his pitiable condition, okay? And he is responsible for the upliftment of his plight or condition. Or had he not helped him, he would have been begging upon the streets, calling him as, you can say, beggar or village school teacher and still begging for alms on the streets, right? So one question is left. This we are going to discuss in the next class. And apart from this, we will also discuss some extra questions. Now, if you have any doubt, you can ask me.